you know th th that's the danger of all of this so it's it's really not a good idea if you want to make your own um because you can't find yeah, something, make that's your own one thing keep it for but, your own you know somebody is making it a home and selling it if you're using that product of that person you know you don't know what you're getting so just be careful well, and also, I mean, yeah. I, I like, I mean, I love, I love when kids want to do cool stuff and I love it. I'm, I'm all for the kids, man. I'm, anybody that knows me knows I'm totally behind the kids. Why not find a, a reputable company that's making it to go partner on so that you can make sure, you know, that you're, you're offering a good product. You know, I, that's what I don't understand. Find somebody. Cause you know, in the community, somebody, somebody. Um, probably does these things and would probably love to take a kid under their wing and kind of help them and you know, Absolutely. That, you know but that that's I, yeah. I think that's my concern it's 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 just and as a parent um it, it to me and and I truly believe this it's the parent's responsibility to make sure that your child especially if they're under 18 is doing the right thing and they're doing it properly because as far as I'm concerned you're responsible for your kid so yeah. I mean if somebody gets sick thinking this hand sanitizer or whatever is, is actually um, killing germs or whatnot. Um, and see, and I think a lot of people, there's a lot of science to some of these recipes and things. It sounds like a good idea. I mean, we keep being told that you need this much isopropyl alcohol. The minute you put anything else in there, you've diluted it. You've diluted. I mean, if you put 50% aloe vera and 50%, 70%, you know, um, isopropyl alcohol, it's not going to kill anything. It's not going to work. I mean, I don't know. So disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I have no idea what the recipe is. I have no idea what they're doing. Um, I just, I see a concern that maybe, maybe they could fix it and find somebody that does it. And So you know. on a side note, so, we, were, we were talking about this earlier. Mm. Just for those people who don't know, uh, the proof of an alcohol is actually right. t the uh, percentage of alcohol times two. Two. So mm. if you have 100, 100%, you know, 100 proof alcohol, whatever it is, that's only 50% alcohol so if you're trying to make your own and you're looking and you're using some vodka or something understand that it, it, it's not it's not 70 percent because and the minute you dilute it yeah and you dilute it too well they dilute it for a number of reasons i mean if you mm -hmm. get on your hands I, I i'm not sure i'm not up on the recipe i'm just trying to warn people that you know unless you have 140 percent proof or above right. which uh, that's what comes out of a still usually right right exactly. and you cut it in half and with you distilled it. water uh, it's cut I, I understand half, right. that making your own you know, if you're making hundred proof, you're only actually using fifty percent sure. alcohol. Sure. Sure. So I, I think that's just that this uh, people just they they have a blind sense of oh it says X proof or whatever, but you know when you start mixing it up and and like I said, I love kids being you know I I love it when kids want to get active and do these things, but but at least please at least help them do it properly so nobody gets hurt and especially right now during a crisis. See, I always think it's a really bad idea to monopolize off a crisis. Or to, you know, mm -hmm. start something new or do whatever. I understand wanting to help. Um, oftentimes these, you know, even the food bank, send us money so we can do what, yeah. what we need. So you don't, you're not touching things. And especially in something that, I mean, this is just uncharted territory. It's not an earthquake. It's not, you know, a tornado. It's not anything. This is a pandemic. This is like yep. little germy poofs that are like staying alive, staying alive, man. They are staying alive. Yeah. Um, and speaking of which, my dear, um, we'll get back to you. We'll call you back. Um Iggy, we're going to, yeah, we'll call you back a little bit later in the night if that's okay. And we're going to go to a quick break here with a little Bee Gees. I'm staying alive here on <laughs> our happy birthday one year anniversary here on LA Cat Chat. Hey, Dalton, again, happy birthday. so glad Patrick's back. You have no idea. He's taken over the board tonight. I'm such a happy person right now. <laughs> and he also played, that's the mashup, um, the ACDC and Bee Gees mashup, which is like brilliant. That is so cool. And if you haven't seen the video, go on YouTube and look it up. It's really good. It's good. That one's a good one. I love that. Um, welcome back to LA Cat Chat on our happy birthday night um, here on, um, what is this? It's March what? It's March 30th, right? 31st. 31st? So tomorrow's April Fool's Day? Tomorrow. Oh, uh, are we going to wake up and this whole virus is going to be a joke? Probably not, but good thinking. I, I was kind of hoping. I told my husband. You need to turn her mic on. Turn God, on. hey, slacker boy. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude. I told my husband. <laughs> I was like, I feel like the entire... Like all the governments of the world should come together and be like, sign 
week. Yeah, it's on like, April 4th. It's like, April Fool's Day, sucker. <laughs> we got you. I know. It's not going to happen, but we can no, dream that. That'd be I a fun know. dream. And you know there's going to be memes like all day long tomorrow like that, right? <laughs> Probably. Okay. So Walt just came in um, to bring in our lovely bottle of champagne to celebrate our birthday. And he took one of these lovely, beautiful sugar cookies. I could, he could have cried. I know. I saw it in his face. He started eating that. And he was just like, oh, my God. This is just like my grandma's sugar cookies. <laughs> See, so there's got to be a grandma element oh, there. Yeah. I know. They're so good, though. They're they so are. good. They are so, amazing. Um, yeah. So we are, we're going to be mentioning Lydia's Cakes and Confections like all night long, all month long, probably for the rest of our lives because she deserves that. Yeah. Nobody deserves yeah. to be pushed around. Um, so we we got to push back in a positive, happy direction by telling y'all, embrace your fluffy self. Don't get rid of your spring roll, as I call my fluffy self. See, when I get to spring, I have what I call like my winter 10. Oh, it's way more these days. Okay. So, and I used to say that was my spring roll. And by summertime, I will have gotten rid of my spring roll. Oh, ain't happening. Ha ha. The fluff is gonna like, mm, yeah, I identify with fluffy because I'm going to eat that cookie. Mm, yum. So good. So, so, so good. Um. What are you doing? Sound guy, what's the matter? Are you not back in the groove of things yet? I mean, the mashup was really good, but oh my gosh. Oh, what's up with that? Okay, so here's another interesting little tidbit. And see, it took a year. We had some interesting chat. We had some interesting people listening mm-hmm. to us. We had, remember the North Carolina guy? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've had over the we've over the year, I can say over the year. Uh, ooh, next tomorrow or the next couple days, we can say over the years. <laughs> um, so we've had some interesting people like call from whatever. We had what would you call that it's not really a stalker but a nasty man what was it what would you call the guy patrick pay attention um what what would you call that guy tasked to like make tasked. something happen okay, and i'm right. trying to make it happen <laughs> okay so he's trying so, he can't so the guy who was just on yeah, here now the, the he's nasty a spammer one. okay he's yeah, a spammer yeah, yeah. a troll yeah somebody was trolling our show <laughs> that's so exciting it's our first troll what what were our some of his Afghani messages? Troll. Our Afghani troll. Yeah, yeah we had an Afghani troll. Adult adult nature. Oh, oh me yeah. love you, me love aloe or something. I mean, he obviously okay. That's funny, but but Patrick only entertained us for a little while, and then he blocked him. No, but we had our first troll. <laughs> See, it's a night of firsts. We had a troll. <laughs> we should have the trolls on. I, I'm taking I'm taking direction from the peanut gallery. The, guy, <gasps> the gentleman that's usually here doing this. Decided oh, to Jake. give me remote instructions. Is oh. he giving you remote instructions? Yes. Jake from not from State Farm. Not from okay, State Farm. Okay, so if you guys haven't he, seen he it, he rocks khakis like nobody else, though. <laughs> I haven't seen him in khakis. We might have to make him wear khakis. We have to come up with some kind of a fundraiser to make him wear khakis. Mm-hmm. Okay, we could do that probably in the new year. That'd be really fun. Um, interesting. Okay, so the other thing is that I didn't, and I kind of did a fast job of it today. But if you pop on over to our Facebook page, there is a happy birthday video that's got like clips. Um, it's got pictures from like the year. I picked as many as I could because it's like nine minutes long. But um, there's pictures of stuff that we've done and events and whatnot throughout the year. So that might be kind of fun. So pop over to our Facebook page and check that video out. Um, Okay, so last year, let's get on to May. Let's talk about May last year. May was a pretty big month for us. We had lots of stuff going on. So the two biggest events that we had um, in May were we did the Foley's thing. Yeah. Super fun event. The we ended watch. up on TV from that. King 5 came out. Actually, a couple of them did. We were on TV for that. It was really fun. Um, yeah, but they newspaper were newspaper came out. That's where the newspaper came out. You're right. And the Voice of the Valley, I think, I think both Maple Valley papers did. Yeah. Okay, so that was super fun. Um, and we that was a great event we did. And then we also did the USO food drive. Yeah. That was super, that super was fun. So fun. And Cam Johnson, she came out for that. That was super fun. Um and then our first show in May, we did, oh my gosh, do you remember when we did the Game of Thrones review? Yes. And we had the Oreos. Yep, I brought the Oreos. She did. Adrian always brings <laughs> us really good stuff. And she brought these um, Game of Thrones Oreos. And they were kind of, those were cool. That was fun. That was a fun show. That actually, yeah, the Game of Thrones. Do I still have that? Do I have that theme song somewhere? I probably do somewhere. It was really, oh yeah, look at this here. It was the Game of Thrones. Does anybody even remember this now? I never. I still have not watched it. They're onto the Tiger King. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're not. They're not we watching. We started watching that. <gasps> we watched it, and you know what? For my husband, who doesn't watch anything without falling asleep, you cannot get him to like finish a movie and really serious. He sat and he watched the whole thing. Wow! It's a train wreck. You cannot. I'm. Ser- it's a train wreck. You have. You just keep watching, going. This can't be real. This can't be real. It's real. It's totally real. So I'm serious. It's so real. he's I he's seen, in jail now. Yes. 
And so how do they have all of this footage leading up? Okay. Um, I, I haven't read anything on it. Well, we just watched the first one and I was confused. I think what happened was the guy, the producer guy that keeps talking that was like producer for like MTV and all stuff like he was instructed like when they were like doing business and what he videoed like everything. They uh-huh. would video everything. And then the commentary you're hearing is when they made this documentary. Okay. Okay. So that's where they were talking to everybody and then they would bring in this footage or whatever. But I mean, I read a thing that this guy, that Joe, Joe Exotic or whatever, he was literally a cop for a while too. I'm thinking, wow. oh my God. Did you notice he was singing? He had an album out, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I he had did. an album out. Now, there is, I need somebody to message me and tell me if this is true or not because I'm hearing two sides of it. I'm hearing some people say that he actually did sing on these albums and some people said it was a Millie Vanilli. <laughs> The vo- his voice is actually pretty good, and I was kind of confused. I was really confused. He has one album that had like 26 tracks on it. I'm like, who does that? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Dude, seriously? William Chatner. Oh, I like him, though. Small. Now, this was interesting. So, if you've watched The Tiger King, yeah, um, let us know what you thought. It was a train wreck. And he is, okay, and Walt and I both said at the end, the wrong, I mean, he probably shouldn't have been in jail. The other guys kind of, they, they kind of said. I haven't seen it, so. You need to watch it. But, I mean, it's, okay, he ends up, he lands in jail for, trying to hire a hit on another gal that calls herself what a refuge or, or whatever yeah, and yeah. i mean she's as bad as anybody else sounds like somebody we know in maple valley oh my gosh yeah. okay oh the tiger king oh, 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 oh. new name, new name. <laughs> do you know who i am hashtag tiger king hashtag, do you know who i am <laughs> i seriously that shirt over there says it and i think it says like um yeah do you know who i am the tiger king oh my gosh what's that oh yes okay we have to say that for at least another what time is it? Yeah, yeah. Is that, that eight? Wait, that's tell, an after nine. That's like song. nine. <laughs> that's like just hold up. You didn't for a have little to bring bit. it up. I was just showing it. I had it ready to go. Oh, he's got it queued up, man. He's like, I got it queued up. I'm all ready to go. I got the. We nine we have song. a special song for our after nine audience uh-huh. coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. That yeah. and Billy coming yeah. up after nine. Um, do you remember last May on the fourteenth? You did Squatch Talk. That was super. We need to do that again. I've been a little out of it. You need to get back into yeah, it. The, the, that was the I, best. I, that was so get, much fun. Taking a lot of heat because the the Bigfoot portal has been in a well, hiatus since I left. Well, I just you couldn't, get, were gone. I couldn't get to it. Yeah, I was gone. And I'm so like, I'm back. you kind of were in like Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, hmm. yeah. We didn't. We need to have another squatch talk though, because that was fun. It was a super yeah. fun show. Shout out to uh, uh-huh. Mr. Tom Cantrell who was tested positive. Oh no! Yeah. What? Yep. Yeah, uh, that Enum Claw. Uh, home center yeah, that, yeah. that, that was oh, in the news. No. Uh, Mr. Tom Tom Cantrell, who's a pretty pretty big name in Bigfoot, written a number of books. Uh, Ruby, How did he Ruby get Ridge it? And, yeah. and some things like that. So look up Tom Cantrell's book. Uh, by wow. support him. He's yeah, uh, no kidding. He's an elderly gentleman that's that's it's in a nursing home. Still got his all his faculties, but he needs a little help. And uh, so buy his books and and he's yeah. I, they think that what was it? They think that uh, they were giving him letters from. A local thing, well wishing or something like that. Are you yeah. kidding? Yeah. He got it off of a letter. Well, they don't. Or know. they there's, think there's, this is a possibility. Yeah, they're accepting donations or something from locals and stuff. Oh my Sad. goodness. Sad. And if you want to send, uh, send uh, Tom Cantrell, send him some Diet Pepsi. Donate oh, no some Diet way, really? Pepsi to to his uh, to his facility there, uh, right by the hospital in Claw. He would appreciate it. It's big oh. Diet, Aww. Diet Pepsi. See, there you go, and they can wipe all that off. That would be that'd that's be my, cool. That's my, that's my squatch talk for the day. Okay, that's your squatch <laughs> talk. But we did have a really good time. And then actually, I'm trying we've to remember. Got, we've got, uh, <clears throat> uh, they've got Bob Gimlin under quarantine. So, holy cow, he's not he's not tested positive, real, but but um, but still, R- Russ Russell is his his manager is basically told Bob that he can't leave his home. <laughs> Took his car keys. No, <laughs> not the Godfather of all big footing. He's in his 80s now. Yeah, and you don't really, he doesn't want to get that. I mean, obviously nobody no, does, no. but you certainly don't when you're, you know, you don't want to do that. Oh, man. Do we know of anybody else in Maple Valley that's been, do we Do we know anybody? Well, and it hasn't really hit, I mean, well, we haven't heard yet, have we? We're no, kind of waiting for that two week. There's been like, there's been a number of cases in Maple Valley. My dad was telling me, I couldn't remember the numbers. Oh, yeah, your dad would small, know. But yeah, your dad would probably know, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, I don't but know. still. I mean, he's just, he Fred Meyer. There was some, like no. There was some. There else. was somebody. Well, there was somebody in Fred Meyer that supposedly had it, and that jerk went out and like went to Fred Meyer knowing that he was had been tested for it. It's like what I the heck it was are you a doing? She. That's oh, the maybe it's a she. Care. Okay, yeah. he she it. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, but that's not on, man. If you're being tested for it, don't stay in your house, man. Yep. Stay home. Stay home. Stay yep. home. Do your part. Stay home. Y'all need to stay home. I mean, I know it's hard. I get it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not easy, but geez, Louise. Okay, do we have any other chat? We got anything going on? 
Uh, not, no, not really. No? Yeah. Just a peanut gallery. Yeah. Really? What's yeah. going on on... Okay, do we have anything blowing up on the... No. Commie page? I, I haven't seen anything on the commie page, but... Oh, but what about... But, but people are talking about taking taking <sighs> screenshots to the commie page, which I hope they don't, unless they have permission to do so. Oh, they might, though, um, as long as everything's yeah. blocked out. But, what but the they're, heck, they're you know? they're talking about it. And oh. So they were just wondering when the highest volume of people are mm. on oh, the commie so, page. So they, so they can plan it out, yep. right? So we can yep. plan our post when and we I, are getting the most people? I told them, there's a reason why Alley Cat is on Tuesday nights. <laughs> Hello, people. Hello, people. Well, speaking of why numbers. Why are we on Tuesday nights? It was the highest volume. It was the for highest volume page. for the comedy. Yeah, of oh, people. It? Yeah, interesting. I know it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Um, I was going to tell you. Okay, actually, in this, I'm skipping ahead to October though. But speaking of of numbers and whatever, highlight of last year was um, like in the middle of October, we um, we had a period of time where we were going back and forth, but we had hit like the fifteen thousand listeners. Wow, that was actually cool. That is I mean, cool. we go up and down and, and whatever, but that's um. Yeah, our little Mabel Valley talk show is like surfing the net. It's out there, <laughs> man. It's flying. It's flying. It's flying. Um, okay, I'm trying to think. We did Foley's. That was a really fun thing that we did in May. Um, oh, do you remember when we called Kyler with the skunk song? I don't think he was amused, <laughs> but I always thought that was funny. I thought that was awesome. That I remember all song. the times we've called Kyler and we get yeah. his car wash song. I know, and then we just sit there and use up his voicemail. Mm-hmm. That's kind of fun. But he always call. You see, every time we try to call him, text me, text me. No, no, we're not going to text you. We can't <laughs> text and talk at the same time. I'm joking, but... Um, yeah, Kyler should call us because yeah. I know some of our, our friends, our friends' businesses have been hit pretty hard. Yeah, there's. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm, I complain and I do say you, whatever. But do you have an update? Have you looked at the uh, the Small Business Administration help that they're, that they're looking? Because I know there's a lot there in the Small Business Administration. I need for to loans go through it, but I mean, okay, and making payroll. There's yeah. all sorts of stuff there. Like if you make your payroll, they they have some loans that you can make payroll. True. And if you use it for payroll, they'll forgive the loans. Okay, now I didn't hear that. The other thing I, don't know I did for hear, sure. That's what I'm saying. That's I know, what I'm and asking. I need to look it up. I did hear that um, people like me, because I don't have any employees, um, but I did hear, and I got I to gotta validate and figure out if this is even true. Does Mac know this? Uh, Mac probably does. He probably knows already. That he's not an employee? Oh, <laughs> shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Um, he's cheap labor. Um, but I was told that people that are kind of in business like I am can actually apply for unemployment. You won't get the state, the state um, <clears throat> Uh, funds or whatever, but you potentially could get that extra, the federal funds. But I don't know if that's true. If anybody knows that, I'd actually, that's what I actually like to know. That'd be kind of an interesting thing. So if anybody knows anything about that, um, send us a message because I'm curious about that. I know Kyler's had a hard time. He said his business has been down. Rafi's yeah. busting a butt. He's, yeah, he's busting a move, he man, trying to you know make that, sandwiches. Uh, reservists, for the most part, don't qualify for unemployment insurance. Yeah, because you're technically still employed, right? Yeah, we make just enough right. at drill. Sure. The monthly drills that they disqualify right. us from unemployment. Well, wow. this is interesting, too. This time is, and this is unprecedented, too, because I know that what they're doing is they're, put, they're furloughing people. Mm-hmm. And they're doing this, and they're doing the standby thing. And they and they are making it, though, so that they are eligible. This is something that's new, though, that, you know, you just have to have a date from your employer where they guesstimate that you'll be going back to work and you can receive your, you know, receive unemployment. But, I mean, this is just this new territory. Like we said, this yeah. is like nothing nobody knows. Yeah. I don't think anyone you know? can guesstimate right no. now. Like, when when do you guesstimate? I don't know. Like, people were hopeful that it was Easter. What but is that? I don't know. Is it an earthquake again? I don't Everything know started, like. Something started shaking. Some started rocking and rolling. If I find out there's an earthquake, <laughs> I'm going to freak out. That's all we need. Seriously, then I will know it's the end of the world as we know it, and I will not blame REM. I'll be <laughs> out of here in a shot, man. I'll be like, all right, okay, I'm taking you seriously, God. Because seriously, it's kind of weird. That's all, you know, I don't know. End yeah. of, mm, mm. There are end of times. I mean, I've read some, I'm, I'm scanning past them, but there are some people that seriously are totally on the, this is it, this is it, it's the end of times. <laughs> I'm like, it's a pandemic. It it's, is a pandemic. It is. It's a pandemic. It's a, uh, yeah, it's. It's just weird, though. Isn't it weird? Doesn't it feel weird? It it feels weird in the sense that there's never been anything like this. Like, yeah, 
you know, where the government has pretty much said, stay at home, stay, home. stay at home. Stay People home. are out of jobs. I know. People, you know, small businesses are saying, I can't last a month like well, this. Well, see, this is the scary thing. And this is what kind of worries me about some of them. And I know that, um, you know, we do have some small businesses that I, I just, I can't see them making it all the way through summer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's a scary thing. And I get it. I mean, like we said, you know, Rafi is just busting a move, you know, because at least they're able to stay open. And I, this whole thing about what is essential and what's not. It's interesting, isn't it? It it's, is. Yeah. I, it, it's, is that you? Of, no, it's not me. Oh, who is it? No. Maybe who it was. It? Maybe it's. Somebody's phone that's getting notifications. <gasps> I don't know. It's just like, I think it's I an earthquake. I don't know who that would be, but. I think it's an earthquake. <laughs> I think it's. 